Hi, my name is Kate Weir and I'm an inspection volunteer with the Care Inspectorate. I looked after with my mum, my aunt who had Alzheimer's and then my mum who had dementia. After her death, there were certain things I felt that were difficult about her care and I wrote to several people and including um, the Care Inspectorate and I, Heather Edwards very kindly invited me in for an interview and we had a long discussion and she said I would I perhaps think about, and she, she, she said it was entirely up to me, to think about joining National Dementia Carers Network, but also about becoming a care inspection volunteer, um, because it might be a way of giving something back and doing something constructive about things. I was invited to um, come for an interview, and then um, I was invited to come to the training, and so it started then about five, six years ago. and. I really like it and I, I do think it's not about me but I think the whole service makes a difference to people and gives people a voice. I think that's what's great about the Care Inspector, it really is that it's it's bottom up, it's got the people at the centre. It, it does move me actually and um, it, it's about social justice, it's about freedom from all the, all the values that I think are really important in any organisation and, and this has it and I think what it looks for in the services it's inspecting is compassion and I think the people who work here are compassionate and model that. The training was very comprehensive, it really worthwhile, it um, taught me the parameters of the role because having been a carer and somebody who was on high alert some of the time and had having worked in the NHS it was getting the balance between what I could do in the role and, and what it was absolutely not the case that I should do and it, it, there was a lot of discussion, there was a lot of technique in uh, teaching and I felt really kind of prepared for the next step. At every step I would have to say during the whole process of application and then joining um, you were, it was always made clear that it was a two-way relationship, people could decide maybe your skills didn't match or that perhaps what you were looking for wasn't here and you yourself could decide I, th I think this is going to be too much for me or this isn't what I thought it might be so it, it, it was very open and very very just really you know, very mm -hmm. fair minded. I'd, I'd been in care homes before um, uh, as, as a visitor or as a principal carer of somebody who was there and I think it, it, it triggered certain things but I think the, the training had covered that you know that you had to keep yourself safe. I think it was. I think what was very good was that you know, the inspector was very good and the coordinator was very good, and so they really helped you. But they also helped you become somebody who would be independent in the role. I think it was very good to meet the reality of it because the theory had been very good and, and all the advice had been very good. But um, being able to shadow an inspection was great, and you could see the paperwork and all that was involved in it. Also, see the, an inspector at work. As a daughter, I had been asked questions about one particular care service when I was, when my mum was still alive, and so I'd seen what some inspection volunteers had done, one inspection volunteer had done. I think I'd, I was very well prepared for the role, and I think what made it very good was that the inspector was very inclusive, and indeed on that particular inspection, the, um, the service providers were very welcoming as well, you know, and uh, and the inspector was great. He he just. Um, asked what he wanted out of me and, and, and we went around the service which is always very good and we felt an equal part of that really. You, you're always prepared for it because you've, you've had the report of the previous inspection so you've, you've got all that preparation before and then often the inspector might say this service I'd like you particularly to look at this. When I was at a later inspection which the service was having difficulty in providing good care for people they were trying to support the service and you know, that, that's why I think it's bottom up and that they keep people at the centre because it wasn't about you're doing wrong and, and telling them you, what they should do, it was about working with them alongside them to see how that service can be improved and on the way home I got a, a feedback from the inspector which I was very grateful for and um, saying we're already working on this and I just felt incredibly encouraged. It wasn't about me, it was the fact that it was, I really admired what they were doing. A lot of my mum's experience, mum had a lot of really nice people that she met during her journey with dementia. So I think that that helped me because I knew what it was like to be a relative. I think sometimes bad experiences, you know, you could have, you had to remember that this was not about you and it's not about triggering the, the things that you'd 
seen your mother suffer. It was about this person and you had to focus on that person. And you had to listen rather than, than speak really sometimes. Yeah. I think observation, you can just sit quietly and you can see quite a lot and you can tell by a voice tone or a hesitation. You can't switch off your nurse's eyes so you could see things that were you realise were maybe not the best way of doing things and you just report that back. You get a lot from um, people themselves, the, 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 the people in care. That, Why are you wearing an apron today? You don't normally wear an apron. You can see, you can see where there's been some cosmeticisation perhaps. You know, and These are people's homes and these are people's working places as well. So you can't really um, criticise people. I think it, it's not about moving, moving a magic wand or becoming Florence Nightingale's assistant. It's about giving people a voice and I think that's hugely important because so many people don't have a voice that are in care. And so it's about it's about doing that if, if you can and if that's possible and that voice then being listened to by the inspector and perhaps some something better coming out of it. But so you're part of a, a small cog in a big wheel that's that's doing its best for people. That's I so. And I think listening to people is hugely important, getting that balance between empathetic listening and being objective. I think if you can do that in your role and in your observations and you're becoming an inspection volunteer, I think that that's, that's, that's at the centre of it.